I wanted to talk to you about our present circumstance, what's going on in the world today. Uh, not so much uh, fixating on that, that problem with the coronavirus, but just I wanted to share with our donors uh, something that was on my heart. I know that many of you are troubled and maybe frightened, and you're wondering, you know, what's going to happen? Well, none of us know exactly what's going to happen today, tomorrow, or five minutes from now, but we do know who God is is and and that is very very important i, I want to share with you a passage of scripture here it's in the book of daniel and it's one of my favorite passages of scripture especially in in times of trouble and it's daniel chapter 11 verse 32 it says talking about um a very very vicious person in history uh, antiochus epiphanes it says, by smooth words, he will turn to godlessness those who act wickedly toward the covenant. But the people who know their God will display strength and take action. You see, there's something very important. A lot of times when Christians get into trials or difficult circumstances, they immediately run to the Bible and begin spending a lot more time in the Bible than usual. And that's a good thing, but it's not the best thing. You see... In order to prepare for trials, you and I must prepare long before the trial comes. We must dedicate our lives to studying the scriptures and cultivating the mind of Christ, and especially dedicating ourselves to knowing who God is. Because in that, we find our strength in the character, the attributes of God. Let me give you an example. I, I meet so many people when they're passing through times of trials in which they're constantly asking themselves this question. What is God doing? What's happening? What is God doing? And it's almost as if they will not have peace unless they can figure out what God's doing. And that's not really the, the biblical way of approaching a problem. You see, I don't need to know what God is doing in the world if I know who God is. If I know that God is good and faithful and holy and righteous, I know that whatever he's doing, even though it's hidden to me, it will be OK. It will be the best. It will be the good for his people, even in the midst of suffering. You see, we must grow in the knowledge of God. I know there's so many people right now talking about the coronavirus and how you should do this and you should do that and spiritual principles for this and that. But but it's really not that complicated. This should be a wake up call for all of us to spend more time in the scriptures, coming to know who God is and what God has done for us in Jesus Christ. And the more that we know that, the more stable we will be in trials like this and then in even more difficult trials. Let, let me give you another example. Uh, I have a dear friend in Peru that I served with for many, many years, and he was very faithful so many times he did. When, did extraordinary things as a friend for me. Let's say that, that he walked in this room right now and said, give me the, the keys to your Jeep. And, um, and I just pulled the keys out of my pocket and I, I gave him the keys. I, I threw him the keys. And someone might ask me, well, you just gave him the keys. You don't know what he's going to do with your car. And I said, well, I don't need to know what he's going to do with my car because I know who he is. I know his character. It's proven over the years. Now, if I can say that about a man, how much more can I say that about about our Lord, who in all my years, and it's the testimony of every saint, and for 2000 years in all my years has never failed once. Not not any of his good words have ever fallen to the ground undone. So that's the first thing I wanted to tell you is to trust in God.